Select kitchen items for living local provided by the Rachel Ray Show. Well, welcome back, guys. Today we are in the kitchen for another crock pot recipe. This one was actually sent in by Megan. Megan Henry. Okay, so is crock pot season, is it year round or is it a seasonal oh, thing? Oh, it is a way of life. You we know, it's, it's year round <laughs> at the Duncan House. We know this. Yes, so today we are going to be making chicken and gravy in the crock pot. So what you need for this recipe is three boneless, skinless chicken breasts, or if you want to use um, like chicken tenders, you can do that as well. They're a little easier, I think, the yes. tenders. Yes, and they cook quicker as well. So we've also got a can of cream of chicken soup, two packets of chicken gravy mix, two cups of water over here, and poultry seasoning, a little black pepper, some salt, and just one-fourth a cup of chicken broth. Now, if you like veggies, if you want to be healthy with it, you can toss in a bag of frozen veggies. Okay. Easy. Just like we did with the pot pie. Exactly. So there's a lot of um, customizing you can do. Now, I have a job for you because I don't like she this portion. Like to touch chicken. So I need you to unlatch the crock pot sure. sides first. And I'm going to have you go ahead and put the crock pot in there or put the chicken in the crock pot. We learned this about you. You do not like to touch chicken. I don't raw like chicken. the way that raw chicken feels. Makes me unhappy. So <laughs> you're just going to spread it over the bottom of the crock pot in a nice even layer. While you're doing that, I am going to go ahead and add the cream of chicken to a bowl. Make a little bit of a mess. Now, this recipe doesn't take very long to cook. And with the chicken tenders, it's going to be even, even quicker okay. than it would with the chicken breast just because they're a little smaller, so they will cook quicker. So, while we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and um, open up the chicken gravy mix. Let's get the chicken broth out of the way. Yeah, if you want to open one and just dump it in there. So, you're going to use two packages of Going right this. into the mixing bowl? Mm-hmm. Just go for it. And I'll dump this other one in there. And if you want to use the measuring cup and scoop out two cups of water and add in here. I'm also going to add just a sprinkle of salt to this as well. Josh is like, let me scoop that bowl closer. It's not going to turn out well if I try. It's just water. It's not going to hurt anything. Plus, you have your apron on. You'll be fine. We're looking for an excuse to get messy here. I know. We might have to um, dye some Easter eggs next week. There we go. It'll be something fun to do. So we've got that. And then if you want to measure out a quarter cup of chicken broth, I'm going to add some black pepper into this as well. Is there a difference between chicken broth and chicken stock? Um, I think one has more of like the onions and vegetables and stuff in there. It's less just like pure chicken. So, we do that. Go ahead and splash that on in there. And I'm going to set the spatula over here on our chicken plate. I'm just going to whisk this all together really quickly, really easily. This is one of those beautiful meals that has like four steps to it. Don't you love that? Just yes. something that's so easy. And fun fact here, Bisky won't tell you this, but I will. She makes sure we do something in the kitchen before we have severe weather because she knows the weather people are going to be stuck here all day tomorrow and we need something to eat. Yeah, you guys need some real food. You You're can't lose. Good egg. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. This is how I earn my keep, right? Is this why you keep doing the show? That's why we keep you around. Okay, that's, that's why I it. Keep you now around. we that's know, guys. <laughs> so I've got another messy job for you, Josh, if you're ready. You are going to pour this on top of the chicken. So don't splash it on yourself. Or if you do, it's okay. You've got no an big apron deal. on. We got aprons now. Yeah. So you just pour it over the top of your chicken. You're going to um, set your crock pot on high for about four and a half hours. You want to check it about every two hours though, just to be safe. Once it is done, you can get a spatula in there, break up your chicken. You can put it on top of mashed potatoes. You could put it on top of biscuits, or you could just eat it by itself. Talking my language, mashed potatoes. I know mashed potatoes are my love language. I love potatoes. For sure, anything potatoes, I'm in. Yeah, so that's easy. So all you got to do is put the lid on the top of it. And then if you want, oh, no, no, no. So don't snap it shut unless you want your crock pot to explode. Nope, don't snap it. it. No, you got to unsnap it because okay. otherwise it pressurizes and it'll be bad. So you're going to set it on high for about four and a half hours and then check back. And of course, guys, you can find this recipe at arclatexhomepage.com under Loving Living Local and check it out there and find some other good recipes too. But right now, you know what time it is, Josh? Is it prize time? It's prize That's time. It. So every single day on our show, we announce the prize winner for the Shreveport Regional Art Council's fundraiser, Club 365. You get to join the club and have 10 chances to win all year long. Just go to joinclub365.com. And now for today's prize winner.